Hey everybody and good morning. It is cruise day. We are in Charleston, a port that we've never sailed out of, on the Carnival Sunshine. And we're gonna show you everything that we do on this four night cruise. All the drinks that we have. Drinks. Drinks. All the food that we eat. All the activities are on board. And uh, right now, I am really digging the adults only area over here. This is a very unique thing on Carnival. Like this is one of the only ships I think that has this. Yeah. It's very nice. Now follow us for all our adventures. Right after going to the mustard station, we decided to grab some drinks here at the casino bar. No it's, line. No line, yeah, it's very empty. We also grabbed a fun times at the Java Cafe. It is lunchtime and we decided to grab some tacos at the Blue Iguana on the pool bar. We are going to eat around, share things. Yeah, lunch is normally my favorite meal on the Carnival cruise ship, so uh, let's share some stuff and eat our way around the ship. We got a few items off the buffet. Got the pepper steak, that looks amazing. Yeah. Some potatoes, and then the curvy station was a little different. It was a Tuscan prosciutto. And we are, we decided not to eat in the buffet area, but came straight on back to the specialty restaurants and the Havana bar. So it's quieter back in. And it's not an upcharge during the uh, lunchtime. Yes. Dessert time. Carnival has a really good selection of cakes. It's one of my favorite thing with our lunchtime buffet. We went with a citrus buttercream and then the classic Funfetti cheesecake. The Funfetti cheesecake is normally always on the Welcome Aboard Buffet. Yes, and it's my favorite. And I'm watching cat videos. Yeah, that cat is not a real cat. I mean, it is a real cat, but I did not think it was a real cat. Another food option is located on Deck 5. It is the Old Fashioned Barbecue. Now, normally on Carnival ships, this is outside. It is only really uh, open on sea days or embarkation days. On some of them. Some of them it's by the buffet and it's open a lot more. Yes. But uh, yeah, they've got uh, chicken, pork butt, little buns. It's very nice. It's not next to the other food as the other food does get crazy lines. Well here, there's no lines and it's delicious. I forgot to show that they do have three different sauces here at Old Fashioned and it is a guy theory just like the burgers. In the Red Frog Pub, there is Shuffleboard, and we're playing a uh, rousing round. We are almost tied, but there is no sand on this table. The final score was 22 to 27, making me... Good guys! Yeah, making me the loser. They also have foosball up here. On the promenade, they have guess the price of the artwork. We guessed, we played, and you get a free artwork. We went to the spa tour. A really cool spa on this ship. It does. It has a really nice thermal area. Yeah. And at 1.30 our room is ready. They do have the keys here. Looks like somebody smashed it with a hammer. Yeah, that door is... Uh, well loved. Yeah. And we have an interior stateroom. But our, our bags are here, which is good. Yes. Honestly, it's pretty spacious. Small yeah. little TV over here, though. Very plain walls. Yes. Very plain walls indeed. There's one art piece of artwork yes. above the bed. It's like if you took a bad picture of a plant. Hopefully, the room cools down a little bit, though it was all the way down when we entered. However, on the, the plus side. showers I've seen on a cruise ship. Yes, this is a giant shower. Sadly, it's still a curtain, but a massive shower for a cruise ship and they gave us four rolls of toilet paper that's good we were going to do something that we never do on embarkment day we changed our swimsuit to go to the adult pool and it started downpouring Man. now plan b go to the bar maybe plan c because they have chocolate strawberry froyo yeah even though it's raining, we decided to get in the pool, and the pool is freezing with no sun outside. Sun said we spent our time in the hot tub on that deck. 
Sail Away got canceled because of the rain, but we made our way to the Alchemy Bar, the best bar on the ship. And it opened up at four o'clock. We got here at 4.08 and this bar was slammed by then. It is 4.25, we just got our drinks here. I ordered a new drink on the menu. They did change the menu since the last time we were on Carnival. They changed it in April of 2022. I ordered the peach cosmetologist. They did change some of the classic drinks like the French Kiss. They did get rid of the Baileys on the rock and they just now have an Irish cream. So the menu kind of changed a little bit, but the drinks are still fabulous. It stopped heavy raining. It is still drizzling though and still overcast. It probably is a beautiful view of the city back there. But we decided to make our way to the top deck as we are passing Fort Sumter. It's right over there, that little tiny island. Way smaller than what we thought. In the atrium, listening to the guitarist Ben. In the Lime Lounge. There is karaoke going on. It is a very small venue, so you do have to get here early if you do want a seat. You went with the Ultimate XO, I believe? Yeah, it's a martini. It's a martini. And I just went with uh, plain water. Even though Carnival ce celebrated their 50th birthday in March, they still have the beer, so I got that. We did go on the 50th celebration where they had a cruise meetup. We were on the Carnival Conquest. It was really, really neat. And you're drinking a Palmer. Heppenweizen. Heppenweizen. We went yes. to the, uh, the brewery. We did, a couple of them too. Yeah. And, well, we were in Germany in July. Dinner time, I got a French kiss at the Alchemy Bar. We both got the same thing for an appetizer, which was the quesadilla. Main entree time. I got the vegetable lasagna, and you went with the steak. Uh, oh my goodness, we decided to skip the dessert time. at dinner. Oh Instead, we went to the Alchemy Bar and got a <laughs> drink. <laughs> we're right. drinking our dessert. Next song. And now we're at 90s Number trivia. Three. 90s music trivia. We did pretty good for 90s music trivia. We got 18, winning team got 19. And now we are currently in line for comedy. Drinking a music sweet music at the piano bar. The Lime Lounge Lounge has become a nightclub and it's 90s night. We ended the night back in the piano bar. And of course, we had to get some late night snacks. So we ended up with the four cheese pizza and the pepperoni. Good morning, it is day two. We are at a game called Ready, Set, Draw. It's kind of like Pictionary. You're broken up into teams. Someone's given a, war a word. You have to draw it. Other teams have to guess what they drew. Trivia time called Actors Trash, where he gives you three clues and you have to guess the actor. Since day two, it's day at sea, we came for a sea day brunch. Now they did kind of decrease the menu, so some of my favorite items are no longer offered, but it's still a really good menu. And I, no more filet mignon either, it's now just a normal strip steak. Yes. Now I got the Voyager burger, and then I also got a side of bacon and mozzarella sticks, and it came with fries, the burger. And then you went with chicken nuggets, mozzarella sticks, fries, Breakfast potatoes, it looked fantastic. And breakfast potatoes. We also ordered a couple drinks from the bar upstairs. We went to the rum bar and I got a Red's Remedy and then you got a Red's Treasure. He also got a dessert. It's banana cream pie. Looks delicious. All the food was really good. I finished my burger. You almost finished everything. And now it's dessert time. On deck five, they do have a map of where we are located. And if you could tell, we Ooh, are cool. <laughs> yep, we are right next to uh, Port Canaveral, which is very close to our house. Currently, we are in the fun shops 
And one of our traditions is buying the ornament. So we have the ship ornament. And now they are so uh, celebrating their 50th anniversary. But the weird thing is, we were on that cruise and some of this merchandise was not here. You have the Mardi Gras, which was the original name yeah, the of the carnival first cruise carnival ship. Sh cruise ship. And this, this I you love. love. Um, this is a, uh, a keychain that was made out of the handrails on the original Mardi Gras. So very much like uh, Disney World does with some of their piece of history pins, is a piece of history keychain. And I really like these. Uh, they're ornaments of each class ship class ships. Yep. Also part of the 50th celebration merchandise is the Fun Ship Freddy's. This used to be the old mascot of Carnival. We actually have a Fun Ship Freddy. He is a little bit thicker right now. But uh He's pretty adorable with the whale tail as a head. At the photo gallery, if you have been on a few cruises, you do get your pen. So you have to pick that up and it's not given in your state room anymore. And now we are at the sports bar. I just got the Grand Slam, which is kind of a Long Island There's in a, a way. a lot of booze in that drink. Yeah, I needed to uh, get some motivation to go to the gym, so I decided to get a strong drink and then uh, I'll be off to the gym. Or you'll pass out one or the other. Yeah, that's what your plan is. We just finished playing Guess That TV theme song. We did very poorly. We got 11 out of 20. The winning team got 18, or these three teams, I should say, got 18 correct. Now, the current TV show, there was only one of the 20, and everything else had ended at least 10 years ago or so, so it was older TV shows. I did actually go to the gym for about 25 minutes. The bad thing about these treadmills is that out front you can't see anything, the wall's too high, so you do have to be look to your side is the only way you can see the ocean. After a slight nap, actually it was a pretty long nap for you, as I oh, went yeah. to the gym and then took a mild nap. We came downstairs, they were playing a game called Walk the Plank, and it was uh, wacky. Wacky, yeah, you did a lot of, uh, it was a lot of mini games, like knocking plastic bottles off people's head. Now we are playing sports trivia, and of course, we're at the Alchemy Bar. I got the perfect storm that is on the menu. He asked for a raspberry martini. Now that's the great thing about the Alchemy Bar here. You can ask for a flavor of martinis and they usually can make it. And that's why this is one of our favorite bars. We listened to the band Touche while sitting at the Alchemy Bar having a few drinks. In the atrium, we are grabbing a drink and listening to the musicians. They have free liquor tasting, and they're tasting new Grey Gooses with uh, a so watermelon, watermelon and basil. basil and a peach and I'm not sure rosemary. The, they're very good. Uh, these are uh, flavors that I have not seen, um, and we go to a lot of bars. Like, I have not seen these flavors anywhere. And it's very smooth. Oh, yeah. It's really nice. We are back at the Punchliner Comedy Club for the PG version show. And uh, no crowds at this show either. No. If you go to the PG cr uh, show, it's not as many crowds. We got the Not Your Mother Cinnamon. Grandma which, Cinnamon. Grandma Cinnamon, which is my favorite. And you got a martini. Yeah, uh, Giddy Cosmo. Now, if you do get their special, the Punch Liner drink, mm. it is very, very strong. I think any blue drinks in this uh, <laughs> <laughs> this venue is very strong. You had a blue drink at the club. Yeah, it was my number 15 and it uh... It knocked you out. Yep. So be forewarned about the blue drinks in this area. We are doing something that we've never done before. It's for formal night. He's dressed up. I'm kind of dressed up. I've decided not to eat in the main dining room. We decided to eat in the buffet. It's our first time ever skipping the main dining room in 49 cruises. Now, a lot of their food is very similar to yeah, the- Yeah, or like, like the stuff, chicken breast there with spinach, Swiss cheese inside the chicken breast. That's on the menu, I believe, tomorrow. Yes, and then the spaghetti carbonero, which is usually what I get during for, for my, and they have a prime rib. 
So something uh, very different that we're doing. We'll show you off what the food we get. From the buffet, I got the spaghetti carbonara, which I usually get during the formal night. Mm -hmm. it's, if it's on the menu, I get it. I also got the stuffed chicken. Yeah, there's spinach and cheese inside the chicken. Mm -hmm. The prime rib, which was the carving station. Bread, double baked potato. And a, it definitely looks like there's bacon bits on the potato. And a vegetable pie. You got pretty much the same thing. Except they had a prosciutto on yeah. uh, in the cold area. And the reason what led us not to ma uh, dine in the main dining room is they do have similar items in the buffet, mm -hmm. as well as the entertainment lineup was so good. We decided yeah. that it's better to see items and see entertainers than yeah. eat the food and spend you know an hour, hour and a half dining. Because you never know with my main dining room how long it's going to take. So it's a first time for us. We'll see how we enjoy it. So far the food looks good. We decided to get some desserts as well at the buffet. Yeah, we got a, a coconut cream pie, warm chocolate hazelnut cake, which looks like more of a pudding. And then a uh, this looks really interesting. It's an apple crockpot uh, dessert dish. And they have a sauce that goes on top. That looks good. One place most people don't realize that they can come into is the steakhouse. They have their own bar. We are drinking a Jameson Castmates. Yeah, the Stout Edition. So there's a bunch of different Castmates. Like there's an ITPA edition. Uh, I think there's a cold brew one. And um, it's a liquor I've never had before. So like, no better time to try it than while on a beverage plan. Now that you take the beverage plan, you don't need reservations to drink here? Now, obviously, not everything's going to be on the beverage plan. Like, you're, you're Louis the Thirteenth, obviously not going to be covered by the Cheers program. Yeah, that is definitely not. But they have a, a really nice selection of whiskeys and liquors in here. And it's also nice to get away from the crowds. One more round, I went with the watermelon martini. And you went with... Uh, Blends bourbon. I've never had it before. It's the one with the horse on top, and uh, it's fantastic. It's very sweet. Oh, really? In the main theater, we are seeing the show Latin Nights. I don't know if we've ever seen that show. It doesn't ring a bell. No. On the deck, they have an 80s rock and glow party. I do have to say you have to get here early to get any glow sticks. We came right up the show and all glow sticks were already given out. And be as loud as you can. Okay? I'm watching y'all. Carlos not shine. Let's do this! our drink package number 15 at the Alchemy Bar listening to the rock band play 90s music. 90s music by the rock band here on the sunshine. Ending day two with this towel animal. Fancy looking. I have no idea what he's supposed to be. Some sort of a uh, winged bird? Maybe. It is day three and we are in the Bahamas. However, we didn't stay on the ship today. We just got done with a unique trivia called Lyrical Challenge and it was really difficult. Oh yeah. They read a little snippet of a song in a very plain tone and you had to guess the song. And it was uh, very, very difficult. Watching Sonic the Hedgehog 2 by the pool. Wow. We played general trivia, which we did okay. It Good was, news, we came in second place. We did come Bad in. Bad news, we lost by seven questions. Yes. <laughs> um, I uh, was hungry for, for lunch. I'm having a grilled ham and cheese from the deli. We are currently playing Identity Crisis, where the crowd is shown a celebrity, and the person has to guess who they are. We just got done playing Movie Quotes Trivia. We got 17, winning team got 18, we were very close. 
most of the movies that we got wrong, I had never seen. Here is a view of Benami. We decided not to get off the ship. We have gone here before. Nice beach, free beach. It is, a, there is a free beach all the way down. There's also the paid, I think there's two different paid ones. Yeah. One thing I find interesting, um, we're talking to one of the, the crew members, and apparently a lot of the crew members get off the ship here on their breaks and go to the casino in one of the resorts. Very interesting. Uh, you also have to take, uh, they have like a free shuttle service. It's like a, like a, kind of like a Disney World parking lot tram. That stops at different locations. We spent about two, two and a half hours inside the pool at the adult area only. It was oh, wonderfully relaxing. <laughs> yes, we had a few drinks and now we are officially moving. One of our favorite food items on Carnival is Guy's Burger. Usually we go with the plain jame with really melty cheese and put uh, potato strips on there. Donkey sauce. Donkey sauce, it's really good. This year, they've created a new one called the Thunderstruck. 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 Thunder. Thunder. Apparently, I don't know what the name is. It's their new catchphrase. F Thunderstruck. Yes, like thunder, <laughs> but fun. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, so this is a new burger. It has uh, fried jalapenos. Uh, nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. Tortilla strips. Mm -hmm. Pico de gallo. Uh, we opted for no fried jalapenos on this one. And then we tossed some uh, potato sticks on top. Looks good. Carnival has its own line of beer. You have the Caribbean wheat, which is my favorite. The Thirsty Red Frog. Yeah, it's Thirsty Frog Red. It was that was the, amber. And it's their first one that they created. And then one that we have not seen, we've tried the IPA before and it was decent, but I've never seen this beach lager. So I decided to get that. We're in the sports sky, uh, sky box, the sports bar. So I got the beer. And you went with your classic... Oh, uh, Skybox Martini, one of my favorite drinks on any carnival ship. First time we've seen Showtime in the main dining room. The towel animal elephant has come to join the party. Appetizer, I went with the French onion. And you went with the fr flatbread. Main course, I went with a classic, as they call it. They brought back some old menu items for the 50th. So I got chicken stuffed with spinach and cheese. And you went with the barbecue ribs. Yep. And that mac and cheese. That mac and cheese looks really good. For dessert, I went with the carnival chocolate melting cake, which is delicious. And you went with apple pie. Back at the alchemy bar, this time we got a deal closer, but asked them to add mint. It's an odd color, but it tastes just like a thin mint or Andy's mint. It's delicious. We got a frog as a talent animal. Now today, a lot of the entertainment was upcharges, bingo, deal or no deal, the love and marriage show. We just sat down and uh, listened to the piano bar guy, listened to some music, and now it is bedtime. Last day of our cruise, they have a towel folding demonstration so you can make some of these animals. Since it is sea day, the last day, we decided to do brunch again. I went with a 12 hour toast and of course the mozzarella sticks. You went with the chicken and waffle and mozzarella sticks. Now, I do have to warn you, sea day brunch, it does bear on time. Last time, we were in and out probably in 40 minutes. This time, it took us about 40 minutes just to get our food. So it does vary. And right now, uh, you can feel the ship's movement right now. You can feel the vibrations. But this French toast looks amazing. We just played Harry Potter trivia, and it was a really hard trivia, too. It was based on all the books, uh, no movie questions. I got 17. I tied with someone. They tried to, uh, someone tried to make up a fake question saying, what did Neville forget in movie one? But it was never stated, so therefore, they decided to play rock, paper, scissors, and I, uh, I won. Look at that. 
We definitely felt some motion on, at breakfast, so we decided to take a little nap. I'm doing much better. You're doing a lot better than what you were after the Harry Potter trivia. <laughs> um, they also had a question and answer with the cruise director. And now we are at lunch here eating pasta and having some bread. It's create your own pasta. It's really, really good. We also got more tacos. We are now playing mini golf. It did rain for quite some time, so some of the f f uh, holes are flooded. And for the first time, the rope course is officially open. The last hole, you start up above, and you end below, and I won. I won by three strokes. The last hole got me. Yeah, it did. The One Hit oh, yeah. Wonders oh, trivia God. is very, very popular. <laughs> Okay, guys, come here, come Drinking here. some Texas drinks from the Red Frog Pub. I got the blended Caribbean, which is a frozen drink with Kahlua and Irish cream. You are drinking a sample of rum, like a straight rum, bamboo. And then we are playing a trivia that I don't think we played before. It is scary movies and TV. I don't think I'll do so hot. We just finished playing sports trivia and we failed. We got a six. The Wingard team got 20. Yes. That was a last, last sports trivia, we did much better, getting like 17 or something out of 20. It was really close. But uh, now we're drinking raspberry martinis at a uh, balcony bar. Last night while we were at the alchemy bar, a guest and the bartender teamed up and talked about how good the vodka strawberries were and how we all need to try it. So everyone at the bar got one strawberry. We all took a bite at the same time and it tasted like two shots of vodka straight. Never take the strawberries straight. That's my advice for you. We were in the lobby listening to the guitar guy, Ben. Uh, he's one of my favorite musicians on board. We are now in the lobby drinking oh, yeah. tiramisu's. Now, with martini glasses, they're really hard to walk with. You can always ask for it in a wine glass or a rocks glass. So therefore, you can move around. For the last day of dinner, we decided to do an upcharge restaurant. We went to the Asian kitchen. I think it's only on a few ships, not many. We got specialty drinks. I got a Mego Crazy. You got a martini green tea. Yeah, green tea martini. It started with a compliment of the chef, which is potato and cheese. And cilantro. And cilantro. Then you got pot stickers mm -hmm. and pork belly. We also got hot noodles and chicken fried rice. The chicken over here. We got the medium. I wanted the middle, but someone wanted the medium. And it, uh, it, it has some punch. It had, definitely has some kick to it. We went with crepes and fried wontons. They look great for dessert. You also get a fortune cookie. About to watch the show, Epic Rocks. Good morning. Before we leave the ship, we decided to get breakfast burritos. It was a really fun adventure. We did a lot of activities, a lot of different bars are on the ship, a lot of different food items. So if you have any questions, uh, please let us know. And thank you so much for watching. Apparently I missed 51 emails. 51 emails.